What the Model L100? Buy this and sell my house. Live in here. It's a living room. Is this a couch or a car? This is incredible. I don't even know where is the where is the screen. Oh my god, this is crazy. No, I told him I said I'm gonna buy this, sell my house. And then I can just live in there. It might, might not fit job. in your garage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Beautiful. Hey, how are you? Good, good, good. Oh, thank you. No, I'm trying to be undercover, but it didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> this is the R, the Hyra R, but not the long tail, huh? Man, I was expecting a long tail. <laughs> Have you seen this in person? No, I've seen the renderings. What do you think? Wow, it's lo much longer. Look at the wheelbase is like two feet longer. I want to buy one. <laughs> this is sick. Seeing renderings, you can't really see the proportion to your regular Hyra. In person, this thing looks so much longer. Yeah. Wider, lower, man, look at the diffuser, practically on the floor. And the seating is completely different than a regular Hyra. It's more of a like an Aston Martin Valkyrie style seat. I mean, this is the Hermes edition. Yeah, I know, I've already started the badge. Well, he, I know Benson, he sold me my first Hyra. <laughs> you did the Hermes but you see, you're undercover today, you, nobody would know you sell Pagani. Yeah, because I'm the opposite. <laughs> I see you on LinkedIn every day. I love it. I love it. How you been? Good, good, yeah. good, good. It's hard not to say wow when you see a Pagani. Hiroshi is such an artist. Each and every one oh my you god, that exposed car, man. I need to stop coming to Kuwait. I get in trouble. I come to look at the cars I ordered and I end up buying two more. Last year I bought two cars. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna leave because if I stay here any longer, I'm gonna have to write a contract. Alright guys, we came to Pagani boot. I came for the long tail and ended up getting the short end of the stick. I'm just kidding. They got three Zonda R's. They got two Hyra R's. The place is absolutely insane. When you see the Hyra R in person, it blows your mind away. The car is nothing like in pictures. So, hope you enjoyed it. Let's move on to the next brand. All right. We got the Yesco. And the new surprise. CC 850. So Christian just turned 50. His birthday for this year. He produced 50 of these. Or he's going to produce 50 of these. So he's going back in the history. This is a very classic look of his first version of CCX. I actually drove a CCX in 2007. Hey, man, how are you? Thank you, thank you. How are you? Very good, very Great. good. Great what a beer. beautiful masterpiece. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, coming, is, coming back from the classic. Yeah, it's celebrating the original first yeah. ever Koenigsegg, the CCI test. Yes, so. and you know I drove that in Las Vegas track 2007. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I still have my badge. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I should, have bought, I should have bought that car. It was only 600 some thousand back then. Exactly. Wow. Exactly, yeah. This looks so much like that, but of course more futuristic. Yeah, it, it, it's like a quite strange look at it. Well, it's the same, but it's different, but it's the same. But it's kind of taking the language and the idea into the future, but staying true to the original. Beautiful. But without being too retro about it. Oh, I like the manual. Yeah. Do I yeah. Hear it's also automatic? Yeah, so you have six speed yeah. manual. Uh -huh. yeah. Then yeah. when you are in the traffic jam, yeah. you relax, you have 9-speed automatic. You are kidding me. And there wow. you have a clutch pedal and everything for your manual drive. And you can just jump out like that and get to manual Yeah. Wow, love it. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. So and what's the horsepower? Uh, 1385. 1385. So a little bit smaller turbos than the Esco because with manual, with one hand on the steering wheel, you don't want any turbo surge. Yes. So it's just like a normally aspirated engine. Yeah. Uh, super fast revving because we don't have the traditional cl uh, clutch and flywheel on the engine. So it's the fastest revving production engine in the world. Wow. It's just wow. amazing. Wow. So, uh, nice and there. then uh, you have this more analog uh, chronographic cluster to match uh, with a completely round steering wheel. And Updated with the today's technology, but from outside it looks classic. Exactly. Timeless, I yeah. should say. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Beautifully, <laughs> beautifully done. Beautiful. Appreciate it. Well, I'm still waiting to decide whether I want the Yes car right, yeah. or the Absolute. So right. when are you going to break the speed breaker? Exactly. <laughs> so we're, we're, uh, we're now getting the, yeah. the production cars out to customers starting. Yeah. I mean, the first one goes off the line in a couple of weeks. 
and then oh. they will follow one per week. Yeah. Uh, so we prioritize it to get that happening, yeah. and then use one of the customer cars to get the customer to go for the record sometime next year. Hopefully. Next year, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sure it's going to be a lot faster than 280. So. That's the idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the top speed on this one? Uh, so this is somewhere yeah. in between these cars. These two, yeah. So it has more downforce than the Absolute, yeah. but less downforce than that. Uh -huh. So And it's got a little bit less power than that. But given that it has much less wings and so on, it's actually a bit faster top speed than the Attack. Really? So it's somewhere in the between. Yeah, because yeah, that has too much drag. This one yeah, yeah. This is more track focused. Yeah. And it looks wider or is it, is it no, me? No, it's, it's the same the monocoque same actually. Monocoque, yeah, yeah. This is a little bit different, the uh, upper yeah. area to match the more old school CC8S, a little yeah. bit lower. So, uh, but, but the underpinnings are quite similar to the Esco, but different uh, settings of suspension and so on. And then the manual yeah. automized uh, transmission with that. And the chronograph cluster. Beautiful. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It's a good If I can again. afford one, I would buy this one too, but I have to, you know, it's tight budget. Right? Like, sure. No, and you're already into the really big stuff here, so. Thank Perfect. you. Great Perfect. seeing you. Yeah, All right. Right. Thank Enjoy you. the quail. Thank you. Thank you. I'm definitely going for an absolute. It's a million bucks more, but to me, it's so refined. All these cars have big wings, but this one, little wings, seems longer, smoother, perfect to be parked next to my speed tail. Well, there are a lot of interesting things going on at Coinasic. Christian just did it again with a CC8. I forgot the name of it, CC8 something. <laughs> but it's basically old, the first model CCX he created. He has refined it and it's really cool nine speed transmission it's manual and auto so you get a lot of versatility with it and top off 1350 horsepower that's got to be one of his fastest cars he's built that's manual real manual not fail shift <laughs> yeah. but anyway let's go to the next brand so i sold this for 40.7 million uh two years ago so i made about close to 12 million dollars Residential investors work longer hours for lower returns compared to commercial real estate investors. Contrarian Academy helps residential investors successfully acquire their first commercial property in six months or less. There is a lot of pockets of opportunity where you can take great real estate that's located in a great location and repurpose it. While one state for example, Houston that's heavily invested in oil and gas industry is experiencing a recession. You may have another state like California experiencing the economic boom. You don't really have to wait for a global economic recession to jump out and invest your money and buy real estate. Apply now by clicking the link below.